Diplomas are intended to replace the replication controllers. When comparing a deployment versus replica set, a former provides the same replication functions through replica sets and also the ability to roll out the changes or else roll back if necessary. You can create a deployment using kubectl create deployment and the deployment name minus minus image. You can provide the image name. You can set the replica count using minus minus replicas flag. You can provide the port using minus minus port. And then if you want to save it into a YAML definition, you can run it in dry run and then output as YAML definition like you see in the screen right now. If you look at this YAML definition, you can see the API version is apps v1, the kind is deployment and under the metadata you will be providing the deployment name. Under the spec section, same like the other definitions, you have the number of replicas. You can provide the selectors with match labels or match expressions and under the template you will be providing your pod template. You can create the deployment using this YAML definition using kubectl create minus f and the file name and then once the deployment is created it triggers a rollout. New rollout creates a new deployment revision as a replica set. This helps us to keep track of the changes made through our deployments and enable us to roll back to the previous versions of the deployment if necessary. You can get the created deployments list using kubectl get deployments or kubectl get deploy command. You can check the pods it got created using kubectl get pods. As the deployment creates a replica set, you can get the replica sets using kubectl get rs or kubectl get replica sets command. And then you can see with the deployment name, it has a replica set created and then the pod names are kind of matching into the replica set name which is randomly generated. Rollout status of the deployment can be viewed with kubectl rollout status command, kubectl rollout status deployment slash and the deployment name that will show whether this deployment is completely rollout or not. And also if you make a change to this existing deployment, let's say you change the image of this deployment using kubectl set image deployment and your deployment name and then you set the image, uh, what is my container name, uh, the image name, and then you want to record this change with minus minus record, or else rather than executing this command, you can edit the deployment as well, kubectl edit deployment command, or else you can change the YAML definition and then apply the change. So any of the ways, if you make a change into the deployment, it will initiate another rollout, and then you can check the rollout history using kubectl rollout history, deploy and the deployment name. If you want to check the rollout history for a specific revision, a kubectl rollout history and the deployment, deployment name, and you can provide the revision using minus minus revision flag. To undo the deployment, that means if you want to roll back uh, your deployment into the previous version, you can use kubectl rollout undo command. And then if you want to uh, undo it into a specific revision, you can use minus minus two revision and you can provide the revision name into the same command. While the pods are rolling out, if you want to pause the rollout, you can use rollout pause command and then to resume the uh, deployment, you can use uh, kubectl rollout resume command. In addition to these commands, you need to know about what are the deployment strategies supported by this deployment definition. There are two main uh, deployment strategies supported. Number one is recreate. This will bring down all of your running pods of the older version of the application and then deploy the new version. There will be an application downtime if the deployment strategy is on recreate. You will be setting up the deployment strategy under the pods spec strategy and then under the type you can define uh, recreate to set the deployment strategy to recreate. The next deployment strategy is rolling updates. It will deploy the updates into the ports using the rolling update fashion. That means it will bring the new version of the ports one by one before terminating the existing older version of the ports. You will be defining the rolling update strategy using the ports spec strategy type and then you will be setting the value as rolling update. Rolling update has additional configurations such as max unavailable and max search to control the rolling update process. 
under the rolling update section you can define max unavailable this is an optional field and that is specifies number of ports that can unavailable during the update process in the same way you can define max search which specifies the maximum number of ports that can be created over the desired number of ports the values that you will be assigning into a max unavailable and max search can be an absolute number or a percentage of desired port for an example 10 percent 